Step Out and Serve looked a little different this year. <laughs> it's 2020, so there was some social distancing and masks due to that COVID-19 pandemic. But plenty of things still remain the same. Good job. At most sites, the majority of work was done outside. The participation this year, while down slightly, still had 339 people giving their time, their sweat, and heart during a pandemic. In Detroit, at MetroLife Church and the Good News Gang, the SG Gang spent much of the day outside painting parking spots, pulling weeds, trimming bushes, and then fixing up the furnaces. Thank you, Shepherd's Gate. Also in Detroit, a huge group helped clean up Ellie's house, a place where women escape from human trafficking and get back on their feet. The house had some definite needs, and Deb Ellinger, who runs Ellie's house, is so appreciative of all the help that allows her mission to flourish. I just continually am amazed at like how God provides amazing people to come here. I mean, Shepherd's Gate funded this whole thing, so um, all the work was paid for and done by them, and it's because of organizations like that that continually step up and help our ministry that we stay afloat. That's the only way that we can do it. So. Seriously, from the bottom of our hearts, we appreciate you guys so much, and we're so, so thankful. In Macomb County, the different workforces hit a number of residents, like the Irvins, where LV and Dona couldn't be more appreciative of their amazing church family. It's overwhelming sometimes. Uh, I've tried several times not to be the little boy and cry, <laughs> but uh, tears well up in my eyes uh, when I see the, the care and the love that um, my family at Shepherd's Gate has expressed for me and Dona this week. At the Drew House, an old porch demolished. A completely new porch installed for a single mom who's been going through health issues and difficult times after the death of her mother. Glad that we're able to come in here and swoop in and help her out this summer. Precious cargo is on hand here at the Roberts House, which got some much needed landscaping. The lot is well over an acre and difficult to maintain for the homeowner bill. Me and my wife were getting up there in the years and back when I was younger, it was great taking care of this yard, but since I got older, it's just, it's been tough. At Shepherd's Gate, there were a number of projects that included teacher's kits, church upgrades, lunches for the homeless, and many others, including donating, refurbishing, and bike repair. It moved up, ready to go. Inside the gym, one of the biggest and coolest sites, as Judy Palladino explains, how grocery bags were being used to make mats and pillows for the homeless. We're taking used grocery bags and recycling them to make sleeping mats for the homeless. And um, the people are sorting them and flattening them, folding them, cutting them, and then looping them together to make a ball of, we call it plarn, plastic yarn. And then people take that yarn, or plarn, sorry, and crochet these mats. They're about two feet by six feet. And we include a pillow, a carry strap, and tie strap. So they can roll it up, tie it, and go. So that's the basic process. Here's one. This is what it looks like when it's all done. What an amazing weekend for Step Out and Serve during the middle of a pandemic to have so many people give back and help is nothing short of amazing. And at one final home, Michelle McKay, a homeowner who has been in and out of the hospital this year, explains while wanting just a little help, got way more than she bargained for. All I mentioned was how I would like some bushes right in the front just to kind of make it low maintenance. I said, just tell me what kind, I'll get them. And they said, oh no, no. We have everything covered and I had mentioned that I was really loving a little tree in front of the kitchen to look out at and now everything is like here and all I had to do was just say what I wanted and they made it happen and it's just such a blessing. And here Michelle's reaction upon first sight at the job that Shepherd's Gate did at her house. 